Hello and welcome to this week's Force.comcast episode where we're going to see our final uh, lightning application all put together and working with the events uh, propagating down to all of the different components. So last week we put together um, the lightning event and we saw how it was working and we managed to uh, respond to it and handle it um, in a very basic format. So this week we're going to see the changes that have been made to all of the different components and the final application running together. So uh, in the video last week we had the um, information um, component that was able to handle the event and that was doing so using this event handler here. So what we've done now in this week's uh, updates is we've got into the uh, info controller here and where we're handling the event what we've done is we're just retrieving the event ID here and then we're going away and we're calling our method on our Aura controller to retrieve that. And notice what we've done here is we've updated in the controller the method to take in the account ID and we're using that to retrieve the particular account. So it's a very minor change but what that requires us to do is to set the parameter for that account ID value here and you'll see that we've been doing that um, both in the task creation controller already but we've got and made the update across all of our different controllers. So we work it through and then we retrieve the particular account based upon that account ID and it updates our um, component for us. What's interesting to note however is that if we don't have um, a value in there when we start when we initialize what we do is we set our account um, property uh, our account uh, aura attribute on the component to be just a basic object where we've populated the three uh, fields that we know we're going to use. So that means that it'll default to show up please select account and then the basic values in there. So we can remove that and close that down a second and go through the next one. On the report controller, we've made an update so that again, we don't have any initialization. Um, so we've removed the initialization method and added in this message attribute string here with a default message of please select an account. So that message will show up no matter what. If the chart has no data, the message will be displayed there for us. And then in the handler function, we retrieve the values um, and if we don't have any groupings, i.e. we don't have any data because the account ID is either blank or doesn't um, exist or it doesn't uh, have any opportunities on it or whatever, um, we set the message to be no data available for report. Otherwise, we just set the message to be blank so it will disappear and we retrieve our data as we were doing before. And again, in the Aura controller, we've just made a couple of updates here. One, which takes in the account ID the second one is we retrieve the metadata for our report and then we just set the value of the filter correctly. So you remember on our original report we were filtering where the account ID was to a particular ID. This just sets that account ID for us and then returns the results we were doing beforehand. The final one that's been updated is the task controller. And in the component again, we're handling the event and there's no changes other than that that have been made to this front area here. Uh, we've added the aura attribute obviously so we can pass this uh, account ID around. And what we're doing, oops, excuse me, in this controller here is when we receive a new account ID, we set the attribute on the component so that we can use it and we're just logging it out here to, she, uh, to show that it's happened. And then when we do create our task, we use that account ID and populate it. So if it's blank, there'll just be a blank what ID. Otherwise, we'll set the what ID uh, specifically to the account ID as part of our Aura controller. So we've taken the account ID here, which we've added in, and we just set the what ID to be that. So that's all of the changes that we've made. And now if we preview our final Lightning app, so you can see here that it starts up asks us to select an account and again here also asks us to select an account with some default values. If we go down and choose something like GenePoint which has some good data, see it retrieves the data and updates everything for us. And if we go to Grand Hotels, also does the same and we can enter a task here. So um, I'm the video demo. I'll create a task of type meeting. Okay. 
add that task in. If we now go to the Grand Hotels, see here that a new task has been added. And it is video items there, video demo. Fantastic. So, as you can see, we've got a fully working and functional Lightning application. And what we've done in this past video series is build up all these components individually and structure them using the correct uh, component based methodology. So, we've extracted different pieces of components where we can to really break it down into the smallest components and subcomponents possible. We've then uh, gone away and connected these components together using events and had it so that when the event propagates across the application um, all of the different components update. So now we've got a nice interactive application and should we want to tweak it or use it elsewhere we've got these different components that they can listen out for that event to take in and account ideas needed.